প্রিয় দর্শক মণ্ডলী ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু আওয়ার শো আমরা আমাদের লাস্ট সেগমেন্টে এসে পৌঁছেছি আমাদের এই সেগমেন্টে আমরা কথা বলবো অ্যাবাউট স্কটল্যান্ড আপনারা জানেন যে স্কটল্যান্ড ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্স নেওয়ার চেষ্টা করতেছে এবং সেই সাপেক্ষে আমরা জিমের সাথে আলাপ করব আমি সেগমেন্টে যাওয়ার আগে আলোচনা শুরু করার আগে আপনাদেরকে আবার মনে করিয়ে দিচ্ছি আমাদের আজকের যেই কুইজ সেটা হচ্ছে ওয়েন ওয়াজ when was hong kong handed over to china was it july 1997 um, june 2 2000 august 2005 um, and the um, answer that you're going to send it to is the email address is pnb at channel i europe dot tv um, and if you leave it to jim he would say that it was only uh, china saying but give it back to us <laughs> uh, jim We're going to talk about the Scotland independence. Can I just mention, before we go on to yep. Scotland, um, 25th anniversary yep, of that the, the Shreepur Village Orphanage. This is an yep. orphanage sure. that um, I am patron of and my wife is a trustee. Okay. It's been running in Bangladesh, in Gazipur, for 25 years. Hold it, hold it. I'm going to ask the um, 500 control room to um, try to see if they can maximise it. Yeah, sure. 500 street kids and okay. 150 destitute mums been running for 25 years now and the 25th anniversary dinner is on October the 25th in the Shonagon restaurant in okay. Osborne Street in Brick Lane so if anybody wants tickets for it they can email me or they can contact uh, www.shripur three course and um, I'm sure it'll be a very nice <laughs> meal I don't know exactly what the content okay. will be but everybody will be welcome but tickets sure, are I'm limited I'm going to say that in Bengali too super thank Shri, you Shri Dasha Kondali um, Jimari um, একটা আয়োজনে অসবন স্ট্রিটের সোনাগা রেস্টুরেন্টে একটা ডিনার আয়োজন করা হয়েছে একটা ফান্ড রেজিংয়ের জন্য বাংলাদেশের অরফেনেজ দের জন্য উনি পয়সা তুলছেন আপনারা যারা যারা এই টিকেটে নিতে চান এবং অংশগ্রহণ করতে চান তারা জিমকে ইমেল করবেন জিম আপনাকে এই টিকেট পৌঁছিয়ে দেবে অ্যান্ড এটার কস্ট হচ্ছে হা মাস হোজ টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ পাউন্ডস পার পারসন থ্যাংক ইউ জিম ফর দ্যাট ফর দিস থিং Jim, um, Scotland, if, I, if my history tells me right, James Stuart I, our king, who is also James Stuart III, the Scottish king, who became a king when he was only 13 years old in uh -huh. Scotland, uh -huh. and by inheritance of a default, um, he then became king of England. And when he did, He had an ambition, which is a very good ambition, that uh, he would unite England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales together. And since then his uh, generation was controlling um, the great British uh, Empire. Um, so back in the 1600s, you had this Scotman, a Scots, who was trying to unite Scotland, uh, the whole of England, the whole of uh, Great Britain and um, went around to conquer most of, uh, most of uh, uh, the earth. And at one point, I think uh, the sun never uh, um, went down on, on England, uh, uh, the British Empire, because it was everywhere, you know. Gradually, it came, it's become smaller and smaller. And these days, we have another Scotsman out of Scotland who wants to separate out of, uh, uh, out of Scotland. So what is the Scotsman doing? I mean, one back in 1600 trying to unite and another Scotsman in the modern days is trying to separate. Well, I think you have to remember when James I became uh, king of Britain uh, in 1601 by act of settlement, there were some people who didn't like the idea. When the parliament united in 1707, a century later, yeah. um, there were large chunks of English money which bribed the Scottish Parliament to vote for union in 1707. So there's always been an element of the Scottish um, race who basically didn't want to be part of Great Britain and wanted to remain an independent country. Um, that's always been there. It's, sometimes it's been bigger and sometimes it's been smaller. In the past 50 years, the level of support for independence has really been between 30 and 40 percent. Right. Um, the opinion polls up until the debate yesterday were saying 57, 43 would say no. Um, but Alex Salmond had a very good performance yeah. in a debate last night. 
Um, and if there's one thing that you can always guarantee is that the nationalists will always finish every election very strongly. So you know that they're going to come in the next three weeks with a lot of argument and a lot of effort and a lot of passion to persuade people to vote for an independent Scotland. So sure. the, the don't knows um, are all to play for. And if the don't knows break to say yes or to break to say no, that will decide whether Scotland becomes independent or not. Um, and if it does, that will have ramifications for all of us. So it's, it's literally uh, two and a half weeks, close to three weeks, coming to the referendum. And once the referendum is done, if they do get a yes vote to, to separate, then it's 18 months to see how they're gonna, how they're gonna do it. I think yesterday's uh, debate, I saw it a bit, I, I'm sure you, you've seen it. Uh, I think um, Alistair Darling was saying the right thing, but he, he tumbled, he uh -huh. shaked in his voice. Uh -huh. Whereas I feel that um, Alex Salmon was saying all the wrong things, but he was more confident on what he was delivering. So it was not about the substance, it was more yeah. about the performance that is, yeah. that is done. Um, because it's quite rightly said, Alistair, uh, the way, you know, as he said about the pound, that you can't have an independence and say Bank of England is going to run you, which is the monetary figure, monetary is the heart of the country, you know, um, and he's quite, right, quite rightly said that. Um, but again, uh, Alex Salmon talked about the NHS and things like that, which he controls, but he quite minutely, minutely, it's, you know, ramp it over uh, Alistair as if it's, it's his fault. Uh, we've got a call. Uh, let's take the call and then we'll c come back to the uh, program. Salaam alaikum, uh, caller. Salaam alaikum. Welcome, Salaam. What do you say? What do you say? I'm going to ask you a Jim, do you know anything about uh, ballot papers taken to the court today? No. No. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Do you want Thank you, caller. Thank you for coming on. Um, I guess uh, the Cha Hamlet's uh, election petition is uh, is more of a interest at the moment. <laughs> and um, somebody just called in and said um, uh, the ballot boxes and everything has been taken to. I'm maybe the judge to wants the, to have a look to the, probably. Yeah, yeah. They they are kept for six months. Yes. In by, in by case, legal yeah. terms. Yeah. Uh, let's come back to Scotland. I mean. Yeah. Do you think that Alex Salmond is a is a bit of a maverick and he wants to be this Wallace of Scotland that he's <laughs> he's brought this independence, the next Gandhi or next uh, you know uh, uh, big man on on earth with his mantle, you know? But is that the right? Is it a, is it one man's ego or is it does really Scotland need to go? I, I think the uh, the problem with uh, politics these days is that the cult of personality is part of what you see. Um, I've got no doubt that Alex Salmond has an ego. Um, I've no doubt it's a very positive and strong ego. I, I, can't, I can't believe he sees himself as uh, 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 William Wallace, but um, <laughs> he clearly believes that destiny um, has presented him as the leader of the nationalists at the moment and First Minister of Scotland with the opportunity to deliver what so many of his predecessors wanted to and couldn't. Um, so he's working very hard to, to be successful. But even if the nationalists lose the referendum, um, all the major parties have promised them even more devolution. That's it, um, yeah. The power to yeah. raise taxes yeah. to the rate of uh, several percent. So yeah. um, there's the already they're great they're power in Edinburgh and there's going to be even more power sure. whether they win or lose. Sure. I mean, it's the same as, that, uh, you know, as Alistair said in, in his debate, that they're currently uh, making decisions for NHS, for yeah. their taxation, for the education, I mean, Scotland is still providing free education for higher education, yep. which none of the other yeah. areas do. So they can, if they can get more power, why not stay together? Yeah. And um, uh, uh, I mean, they, uh, Alex Salmon rolled on to about the jobs, but it was easy to say that uh, the Trident uh, jobs is going to stimulate into the army uh, jobs. So if you're going to have an army, why not have Trident? <laughs> They couldn't afford it. And if you can't afford it, then 
uh, those tried and engineers or employees might not want to go uh, uh, into our sure. in, into sure. so where do they go? I yeah. mean, there will always be huge questions. Uh, his question. So as much as he says that uh, um, uh, uh, what, what are the three jobs that you will provide, Alistair? He can't provide any jobs that I can think of unless he's going to do a massive house building. Then the other thing that about immigration in Scotland. Nobody is talking about immigration in Scotland, uh -huh. neither Alex Salmon or his team or Labour or Conservatives or anybody. Are they going to give a amnesty as soon as uh, the referendum goes through, whoever is in there? How are they, what is the relation going to be in the border? You know, how are they going to monitor? You know, all these things. People are moving from, uh, all the way from Dover, uh, from France, and this is just over the, over the border. So how are they going to manage this? I think these are Huge crucial questions. questions that really need to be tweaked in, instead of just banging on onto the economy. I think there are too many, too many questions that. to be answered before the referendum. Yeah. Um, if the referendum says yes, then all of these, that's why they need 18 months to thrash out all of these questions. Yeah. Um, but of course, if Scotland does vote for independence, then yeah. the other question for Westminster is, um, there's no role for Scottish MPs at Westminster. That's it, so yeah. that means 55 MPs are completely eliminated. Which, but they will which be elected, but they will be elected next May. Yeah. So yeah. do they only stay for one year? One year, yeah. Or do they stay for a whole five That's years? It, yeah, yeah. I mean, serious constitutional questions, yeah. which nobody has turned to yeah. and won't turn to well, until after the vote. Well, at least will come out of it because Cameron wanted a lesser uh, MP seats. Yeah. Uh, he <laughs> lost the uh, vote on it. So this is the way of... Which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. Too many politicians. Yeah. Um, do you think that if Scotland, uh, if they do get a, a, a yes vote, I don't know which, which way you stand. Do you, do you support the independence or do you uh, want it to stay as a union? I prefer to see the UK remaining united. Um, I think yeah. the slogan, better together, um, it, yeah. I think it does demonstrate uh, yeah. everything, that we are better together. Sure. We're better together economically, we're better together politically, we're better together at sports. Um, can you imagine a great British team at the Olympics yeah. not competing as good? Even, even in the, um, uh, 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 um, you know, the last uh, games, was it the European Games? Commonwealth Games. Commonwealth Games. I mean, um, Scotland was far behind than England anyway. So, uh, but, uh, but, if they're combined, people, yeah. but if they were combined, then they can, yeah. you know, posture themselves that we're British. You know, um, do you think that if Scotland does get a referendum, then Ireland would want to go? Um, is there a domino effect that no. all the others would want to go? No, then I the small islands can be, and, and the islands will, the Solomon Islands will say, well, we're closer, <laughs> to, we're closer to this country. We want to go by ourselves. I can't see Northern Ireland uh, changing uh, its attitude to wanting to be part of the United Kingdom. I mean, that's a whole big political question, yeah. which the Troubles were about for 30 years, yeah. where the IRA were fighting for a united Ireland. And that question seems to be resolved uh, at the moment. There would be uh, an increased um, attention in Wales, um, but Wales has never sought the level of independence Scotland has got. Yeah. Um, it's a much smaller minority in, in Wales who are interested in, in independence. One interesting point I would like to discuss with you is that the SNP, they, this is the first time they came in Parliament in a full phase and controlling. Before that, it was Labour yeah. uh, controlled Scotland. Again, coming back to that disarray voters, do you think that at that time, voters were, they, they were disarrayed with that big big uh, uh, three parties, Conservatives, Labour and, and Lib Dem. And they said, you know, I'm going to vote SNP this time. And for that, they have come back with, uh, with the majority and they're now governing uh, uh, Scotland. And for that, they have now put in a referendum. I'm quite sure, I mean, this is my personal view, that if they lose the referendum, SNP will be finished. That's my personal view, but they might not be. But coming back to that point that when the voters are not engaging or when not, uh, I mean the big parties are not engaging with the voters this is the outcome it's um it's a fascinating question um if the referendum goes against the nationalists then that question will be sorted for 20 years um yeah. so where did the nationalists go the nationalists initially took most of the conservative votes yeah. before it started also capturing labor votes yeah and um, so the national party 
um, is an amalgam of ex-Labour, ex-Conservative, and some who have been Lib Dem or just sure. uh, non-political. So sure. it's a mixed match of, um, of all political opinion. Whether it will survive is an interesting question. Whether the Conservative uh, uh, fortunes would improve as a result of that question being yeah. uh, sorted, I, I really don't know. Um, nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows what sure. the outcome of the referendum uh, is going to we've be. We've seen the BNP rising and then falling again because their one agenda um, uh, immigration. And then we've seen the UK, which basically, again, it, it's on immigration. It's, it's, and I think after the general election, UK probably going to die down and, yeah. uh, and eventually they're going to go. Yeah. But during the time while they're here, they make a hell of a noise. And they make uh, a lot of people's lives trouble. trouble. So, uh, like that, do you think that SNP is, um, you know, it's, it's just one of one another one of those in the block, no, just I think waving the flag for a uh, moment and then making their point and then moving no, on? No, I think they've been around for a lot longer. They're okay. a much um, more formidable uh, political force. Um, I can't see them disappearing uh, completely. Uh, and they're in power in so many towns and districts in Scotland. They are the government of Scotland. So no, the SNP, um, they're not the same kind of pressure group. Politics north of the border sure. has always been more left than south of the border, right. um, which is why the BNP have never got traction in Scotland, sure. um, whereas they did in, in cities right across England um, and a wee bit in Wales, but they never got traction in Scotland. Um, so in that instance, it's a whole different ballgame. They're, not this, they're, they're nothing like uh, the BNP or, or any kind of nationalist, uh, anti, uh, or any nationalist racist organisation. Sure. Um, if there was one great thing from the Commonwealth Games, um, it was English athletes not, re not really uh, uh, sure of what reaction they were going to get. Uh, and of course, whenever they won, they mm. got great applause from the Scottish people um, because they they admired the performances. Jim, we're we're going to finish now. I'm going to give you the last word, and then we're going to finish off. It's all yours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you don't know me, I'm a nam Jim Fitzpatrick. I'm a Goto Shotro Bosadoria MP, Poplar and Limehouse, Member of Parliament, Poplar and Limehouse. I'm a Shahori Afnara Bala Soin, Mafori Adiba. Uh, Kintu Ami Tura Tura Saleti uh, Matamfari, Bangdanai Saleti Matamfari. Um, so Ami uh, Ingrezi uh, mat Mata. You're going to seek vote in the next election? You're going to seek vote with them? <laughs> <laughs> Please, yeah, vote, vote Labour. <laughs> Shri Dashi Gondali, Apra Declan, Askia Wanda Shatachilo, Right Honourable MP, Jim Fitzpatrick, Uni A Constitutional Tawanik Dintari Achen, Potom Tiki Achen. এবং আগামী ইলেকশনে আপনারা যাকে ভোট দিবেন চিন্তা ভাবনা করে ভোট দিবেন এবং জিম আপনার ভোটের আশা রাখে ওকে নেক্সট টাইম উই উইল সি ইউ अगेन আসসালামু আলাইকুম সাই সেড দ্যাট ফর ইউ থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ